Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather and the best conditions through this weekend is the west is the west. In fact, here are my headlines. I've got three different storm systems lined up. First one's happening now through the 17th. Um, and then the second one's the 19th through the 22nd. And then the third colder storm comes barreling in on the 23rd and 24th. So I'll be looking at all of these today. So right now we've still got some snow coming down up at Jackson Hole. I already reported a few inches. You may get another two or three out of this. Um, but there's your view up there in uh, the Tetons. Uh, here's the view in Big Sky. Still some very light snow coming down up in Big Sky. And in Colorado, there's your view in Steamboat. Several inches on the way for Steamboat. In fact, even heavier as you go east towards Cameron Pass and run right down through Longs on the Front Range High Peaks to Winter Park, Eldora, Loveland, A Basin, Keystone, Breck. Probably will get the most running down, maybe even to Monarch as the storm exits. Let me show you the pattern on infrared. So the jet's running basically like this, and then there's a trough supporting the current scenario. So you've got, let me just mark these lows uh, in red. So you've got a storm system right here. You've got another one up here. You've got one behind it. So what's essentially happening is all this is running straight into the west. And then these storms, these little pieces are breaking off and becoming intermountain storm systems. And then they're spinning up in Colorado. And that's what I expect to happen um, all the way down the road. Like I said, with the two to three different storm systems, we're going to see this type of pattern play out. And the third storm of the bunch could be the coldest. Um, that one may grab the most cold air out of all of them. All right, so let's talk about uh, talk about what the uh, GFS is showing here. Um, its interpretation: snow continues in Colorado, Wyoming, a little bit left over in the Wasatch. And here's Thursday morning: low spins up in the Panhandles. Snow continues in Colorado, but it runs right down the Front Range High Peaks on the divide into southern Colorado and northern New Mexico. Here's the Thursday afternoon. There's Thursday night, and by Friday morning. The storm is gone and it's headed for the northeast and it's going to be a warmer storm. Look at the numbers. Here's Saturday morning. Moves in as mainly rain or rain snow mix. The ski areas in the northeast. Here's Saturday afternoon. New storm hitting the Pacific Northwest. That's our next storm coming into the Intermountain West. Um, here is Sunday morning. Storm exits the northeast with some wrap around, a little bit of wrap around snow. But look at Sunday morning out west. Snow in Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah. And then that moves into Colorado, Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, and into Monday morning. Now, this low that may spin up into something stronger, here's Monday morning, look at it in the panhandles, becomes a stronger storm for Colorado with heavy snow in the same areas as the storm we're dealing with right now. Front range high peaks running right down through southern Colorado. There's Tuesday morning, the 22nd. Here's Wednesday morning the 23rd and look what's happening new storm third of the bunch coming down through Montana into Wyoming and this one is gonna have the most cold air alright let's talk totals so here are my numbers basically today through the 18th it's all in Colorado northern New Mexico a little bit of leftover snow in the Tetons then we have to deal with the second storm 19th through the 25th now this includes a second storm and parts of the third. So that's why the numbers are so big in the uh, the Tetons, in Big Sky, and in the Wasatch, because you, you're combining the second and even parts of the third storm system. Um, so that's why the numbers are big. In Colorado, with the second storm, that's what you're looking at basically here. I've got four to maybe 10 inches. I may have to increase those numbers. We could be looking at higher numbers, especially on the Continental Divide and East. So if the numbers were to go up, I'd boost Loveland, Winter Park, Cameron Pass, Monarch, Wolf Creek, and the numbers for northern New Mexico would all likely go up. So that's something to watch. Pretty big numbers in the Pacific Northwest as all these storm systems continue to, the trajectory continues to fire them in there, and then they spin up into storms for the Intermountain West. Let me look at the Northeast. Again, warmer storm coming in this weekend, main, mainly rain, rain snow mix, maybe some snow on the wraparound at the higher elevations, Mount Washington, Sunday River, and Sugarloaf, but otherwise not a great stretch for that area. So that's going to do it. Let me take you back again, my totals for the next couple of days. If you're looking for the new powder, head to Colorado, head to northern New Mexico, especially in Colorado. Look to Loveland, A Basin, Breck, Keystone, up to Winter Park and Eldora, Cameron Pass, that's where you're going to find some of the biggest numbers over the next couple of days. And then after that, we'll refocus with the two other storm systems. All right, so there you go. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care. Have a great day.